Uh, hey guys, uh, this is just the blade away here, and today we're gonna be playing some GTA 5 online. Um, hey guys, yeah, Don's here too. Uh, we recorded this just a second ago, but uh, I fucked it up a little bit, so we had to redo it. Basically, what we did was we were ranting about uh, GTA or Rockstar and how they're not giving us like what entertaining stuff to do really basically what I was saying was the the GTA 5 has so much potential of a world of non-stop fun like yeah they added tennis and stuff like that but who's gonna play tennis and golf where's the basketball tennis takes forever, where's the football the way, imagine running around tennis. yeah and golf does too but just imagine have like a little what four on four basketball game or like a five on five football game and like just running around tackling people and stuff like that i mean yeah when the snow was there john remember we were throwing snowballs and stuff yeah like that was pretty fun you can knock people out with snowballs i mean like and like the clothes they need to add new clothes and everything but yeah this is your video john so i'm gonna let you do most of the talking i don't want to over talk you or anything so go ahead buddy yeah, you got you guys will see my clothes in just a second whenever I get some uh join GTA online. I have uh some suspenders on and some red pants. <laughs> uh I don't remember why I was dressed like that at all, but that's how I was dressed, so that's how I'm keeping it right now. And yeah. Uh, I could do like some I could make some outfits or something for you guys and do a showcase or something, but if you guys want that, um uh, I don't do many missions anymore since, you know, the same repetitive missions over and over. I don't know why the fuck the, uh, oh, hold on guys, I gotta cut the audio down online too, I guess. Don't fucking give me a strike either, um, YouTube for this shit because I just cut it down. You saw it in the video. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, GTA 5. Um, I'll do custom races with you guys if you want to, because I like racing, because that's my main source of getting money. That's why I barely have any money right now, because you can't bet on people anymore, because they took that feature out because of a glitch or something. And uh, that's pretty stupid, because you know, like, what's the point of racing if you can't bet on each other to earn more money, like, for winning or losing? But um, yeah, so. Uh, when I hit 50 subscribers, I'm gonna be getting the HD PVR to do more content for you guys. But I'm not getting that until I hit 50, so I know like I'm getting somewhere in YouTube. Cause I think I'm at like 21 Gee. right now. But I mean that's pretty good since I've only had the channel for like three or four days. But John, nah, can I say something real quick? I don't mean to cut yeah. you off. Like, yeah. Like I love how everybody like like smashes on Rockstar. I'm not saying like we're like other people are bad. I mean we're doing it too. But if you look back to GTA 4, look how sucky their online was. Look how bad that online was. I thought I thought all the GTA online were garbage until GTA 5 came out, honestly. Well, uh like they GTA did 4, take a big called, up. Uh, it wasn't called GTA online. It was just multiplayer. So I mean, that was a pretty stupid yeah, concept I mean, because you couldn't like anything you did in a session it didn't save. Like you had to go back and get guns and get a car or something but now you can yeah. have an apartment you can have your certain cars you can dress right your here. character or everything yeah um so yeah guys he's trying to shoot my tires out right now but he can go fuck off because I have bulletproof tires and he's a fucking dick <sighs> uh, yeah guys I think Rockstar should do like put out another update before heist comes out or put heist out now because I'm bored as fuck with this game honestly I barely play it. It's the only disc game I actually have for PS4 because I knew it would take forever to download on the PS4. So I mean, yeah, and and the game itself takes up 50 gigabytes just on the disc. Imagine it will take a hundred something without the disc. That would be like half it's your a big, it's a big half ass your game, memory. Dude. Yeah, for no reason. I mean. Once you get to the level me and John are at, well, I'm like level 121, you're like, what, 225 or something like that? I'm 209, as you guys can see on the screen. Yeah, well, I'm not playing. So. I've had the game but since yeah, like, like, the release date, and like it's improved a lot, but I mean, it could be better. Like, honestly, it could be yes. so much better. 
I think if I, they uh, mess this tweak with the little things first, that would just make the game a whole lot better. Like, like instead of uh fixing the glitches or so, like instead of fixing that racing glitch right away, like you should have focused on putting height style and then I know you don't want people cheating the game or whatnot, but don't like take the betting completely out. Like limit the betting or something. But that's mm -hmm. why people are cheating the game because there's nothing else to earn money. Like, like the money I could sit here and do missions all, all day prices. long, but it, you wouldn't get anywhere in it. And here I'm gonna pause the game real quick and show you guys the best mission in GTA right now. It's uh, it you get it from Lester. You gotta get it from Lester first before you can actually do it. And if you guys wanna do it with me, uh, we could do it. Uh, it's Docs the Stocks too, and you wanna do it with four people, and you wanna spend at least uh, 15 minutes on it, and you'll get like I think 30,000 for it, and that's like. I mean, survival gives you 30,000 too, but this gives you like 5,000 RP, which is good if you're trying to level up. And I mean, it's just a good mission if you haven't done it, so. And honestly, dude, I love GTA 5 to death, but as you can see, all these new free roam games are coming out. I mean, look at Dying Light. And then you got a game called Evolve coming out, which I'll do, me and John will uh, talk about that in the future. And then. In spring, you got Mortal Kombat 5, 10, and then you got uh, Dead Island 2 coming out in the spring. Like, Rockstar needs to get their shit together, or they're going to be dropping out the race soon. That's all I got to say. I mean, just straight up. Yeah, you got, like, you really need to push for Heist to come out soon, because if you don't, then you're going to lose a lot of players. Because I know, like, I don't want to play this game anymore. Like, I play it to have fun with friends sometimes. It's all the only reason I play it. And, like, I mean, once Heist comes out, I mean, hopefully you guys give us some new cars and some new clothes, like people have been saying you're going to, but I don't know how true that is. But if you don't, I mean, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, honestly. I'll play the Heist and get bored of that uh, just this quick. But I, I mean, like, you know, it's it's hard to explain. And honestly, I think they need to add a double money day. I mean, when's the last time we had a double we money? Had it, like, I know we've had tons of double summer, RP. The high life. Yes. Uh, and, like, don't put it in a playlist with stupid jobs that nobody wants to do. Do, like, an actual, like, any job you want to do because I don't want to sit in a playlist with a bunch of tryhards and not earn anything because I keep losing. And I'm not even bad at the game, just they're actual like tryhards on Grand Theft Auto, which is ridiculous. Like honestly dude, I uh I love Rockstar and all the games they've made in the future and all the games they've collaborated in together with other companies. And I think they're just starting to run out of ideas. Like if they could just like I said before, I'm not I'm repeating myself over and over, but they just tweak the little things. Like, if you could do certain things when you're just walking down the street, or, you know, if you could zip up your hoodies. I mean, I hate that. I want a, a hoodie that zips up. I'm tired of having an open face hoodie. hoodie. It's stupid. Who do you really see walking around like that anymore? Nobody. I wish you could throw a hood on your over your head or something like that. Just little things that make you want to keep playing, and that would just keep my attention, like, 10 more minutes than usual, because I'm just going through everything. I mean, the first person thing... That is awesome. Like, I don't know if y'all know, but if y'all put on sunglasses with different color lenses, it'll change the color of the world for you. And I think that's cool. I didn't know that till the other day. You know, John never tells me anything about that, so... Yeah, that that's a pretty sick feature, too. And, like, uh... You know, just add more variety to the game. That's pretty much what we're trying to say. And you know what? I hope in the future they can, like... The map. The map is where everybody gets tired of. The maps is so tiny and compact. Yeah, like you got all these different biomes and stuff. But like, what if we could just go? What if y'all made a whole different world and then like you could travel there, uh, like on a plane or a boat? Or yeah, like that would be the map. bomb. And like the map could change when you're in a different location instead of being like the same map because. Hold on, which which game did that? Was that Grand Theft Auto 4 that did that? Like when you cross the bridge, it'll load and it'll change the map. No, that was San Andreas. Well, Grand Theft Auto Four had three different places too, but San Andreas had a uh, yeah. like you had you could go to Las Venturas and you can go to like the little city and then you can go to the uh, the hood or whatever the ghetto, whatever you wanna call that. Yeah, I don't know if y'all know about uh, Godfather, but Godfather Two, you could go to Colombia or Cuba. I mean, I'm sorry, you could go to Florida, you can go to New York. Where else could you go? You could go somewhere else too. I can't remember right now though. 
and it was four, four or five different places you could go and fight to take over turf. And yeah, I, I thought that had, was like, awesome. I mean, if you had a turf war in Grand Theft Auto, like you could have a little gang mission or something, that'd be pretty sick too. But or like you could claim your own area with your with your crew or your little I forgot what it's called. Yeah, your crew. Like you have your own area and people attack. That would be yeah. cool. I mean, we're not asking for much, Rockstar, if you ever do see this. We're just asking for, like, a more, like, like, give us more stuff. To Something do. to keep us coming back to the game, like, when we first played. Because New GTA stuff to old a people. I like, want to constantly play. I used to play it all the time, but then it kind of just, I lost interest really quick. Because, I mean, the updates are good, but most of the updates are, like, not... You know, like the hipster update, that I thought that was a stupid update, because uh, you got a couple good cars, but they really aren't, like, you know. And the outfits were just retarded to me. I mean, I mean, they are, when they y'all are see my hipster, character like, in the future... Really job about that, but... You know. Yeah. You guys know what we're saying. You probably feel the same way we do. I'm just trying to get Rockstar and I mean, they're probably never going to see this because they watch bigger YouTubers like uh, Jobless Gamers and Mr. Balls for the win and whatnot. But, you know. And Vanoss and all that stuff. Well, Vanoss doesn't really, like, go on. He just, they make, like, that makes me want to play GTA watching Vanoss or H2O Delirious because it's just funny. But and that's the funny thing because they got all their friends. They got everybody together. But with me and John, it's really just us two. Because none yes, of our other friends yeah. have PS4. I mean, like, we just want to, like, we want a more, like, we want more variety in the game, that's all. Yeah. Uh, I'll have but honestly, a, um, what were you saying, Cody? But honestly, like, overall, the game itself's good, the campaign's good and nice and long. And multiplayer is not the worst, and at the same time, just to us, it seems bad because we've done everything. But overall, I think the game is a well round out game. So, like, yeah, I if, think... If you haven't played yeah. this game before, then, like, you know, if you're going to have fun until you get to, like... Like, I'm level 200, and I've been, like, over 120 for, like, months now. So, I mean, it's not really that much of a game to me anymore that I want to play, but... If you're starting out fresh, then, I mean, you're going to be entertained for a little while, and then you're going to feel the same way we feel, because it just gets old. Yeah, and, like, honestly, the price, the prices on everything is OP. Everything's a million or something. You're going to get paid, what, 15 for a mission? You know how long it's going to take you to get to 5 million to get a helicopter or something? You got to sit, like, if I wanted, here, I'll show you guys on the video right now. If I wanted this car in particular, like, if I wanted this in Torno, I wouldn't have that amount of money until I did, like, the same mission multiple times, and it would take me, like, the whole day, and, like, if I want to upgrade on the car, it would take me even longer to get money for that, because you just don't get paid enough money. Alright, Jonathan, we're about time, bro. I'm at, uh, 445, 1445. Yeah, I'm at 13, so, uh, yeah, guys, if you like this and you want to see more stuff like this, just give it a like and subscribe and comment below on how we can improve and whatever. Yeah. And give Don a sub if you're not subbed to him. Give me a sub if you're not subbed to me. You know, we're just trying to help you guys out and give you guys information about the game. Yeah, hey, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cody, you want to All right, guys. Just you know, get GTA Five. You ain't got just to try it out for yourself. And uh, that's all I gotta say to you guys. But please remember, like and subscribe to me and John. And we will have more videos coming at you later in the week.